Was there any difference between when you first saw it, you were much younger, yeah. never thinking it would have mm -hmm. any meaning in your life except mm -hmm. as of you are, yeah. and then when you're cast in the role and you yeah. read the book, did you take away different things? Do you remember Absolutely. having a, a certain feeling when you yeah. first saw the movie and then after having read the book? Yeah, when I, when I read it, I was a lot younger, um, probably in my teens, and I think like, like most people, I, a lot of the important themes such as you know, strength, redemption, spirituality. Those are the things I didn't really see. When what I did you see? When I, when I was young, I saw, I guess, the surface level things that most people see. Oh, you sure is ugly. And, you know, the beautiful African features that Whippy Goldberg has, it was, some of it was kind of comical in terms of like, oh, you sure is ugly. And the way she was treated and in the whole hand scenes, even if you look at sitcoms today, people, st you know, make fun of those scenes in the movies, but they're, they're so powerful and they have such a different meaning for me. So now I see it more as a as silly spiritual journey. You know, she starts off having a very, because of her experiences and because of, um, of course, that time period, she has a very limited perspective of what God is and I would, I would more consider her more religious, you know. But then as the story goes on and because of her experiences and her conversations with Suge Avery about like how God is, you know, not just someone who's in this, you, you only can see him in church, but in, or um, he's this white person that you've, that has been imposed on you, more so God is, is, is everything. God is the earth. God is much more broader than, than you know he is. God is in you. And much broader than organized religion per se. Much broader than organized religion, absolutely. And that, that, that resonates with me too, because I think that for me personally, growing up, my father being a bishop, you know, from West Africa, and then me traveling to Africa and actually seeing some of the, even in Africa, the images that are presented to the, to, to the um, natives, the indigenous people of Africa, and saying like, wow, like, to me, I find strength in God, knowing that God represents me and he looks like me. So that's something that, you know, that I've come to realize as I've, I've, as I've gotten older, and that's something Silly has, I think Silly comes to understand as well. Um, it's interesting in the book that it, when you think about it, it's really set in a religious context, except Absolutely. Alice Walker is not the author, uh, meaning she's not particularly a fan of organized religion. No, she's not. So it's kind of interesting. And to that's what see. the book's about, she says. It's yeah. a spiritual journey before anything else. But it's uh, but but here is Celie finding her voice, if yeah. you will, through writing letters. Mm -hmm. She wasn't an educated woman, no. uh, but she writes letters to God, to God yeah. for most of the play, and yep. then switches to she switches to, to writing to writing to to Nettie. And she forsakes God for a while. She's just kind of like, you know, I've been praying to you my whole life, and and what you know, what have you done to me? She she stops talking to him. She stops communicating with God, and that's when she begins to talk to her sister Nettie.